So Splatoon is almost here, but that doesn't mean the hype is ending yet. Because there's an image circulating the internet right now that appears to be taken uh, that appears to be a picture taken from the official guidebook for the game, uh, specifically of the weapons page, and it reveals some things we didn't know about. Actually, a lot of things. Um, to start things off, we do have some things that might seem familiar. Uh, toward the bottom right, we have the rapid fire, uh, rapid blaster deco, which is actually in the game currently. Uh, then just left of that, we have the ink brush, which of course we've seen before in the direct. It's coming up as DLC. Now, just above the ink brush, we have two more weapons that also might seem familiar, but are actually kind of new. So, uh, we have the custom E-Leader 3K, then the E-Leader 3K Scope. Now, the interesting thing about this is there's already an E-Leader 3K in the game. Uh, so I'm guessing the custom is just going to be that same weapon, um, but with a different secondary and special weapon grouped with it. And then we have the Scope version. Now, normally the E-Leader 3K is a Charger weapon, but there's no Scope. So I'm guessing that's going to be the difference. This one will probably come with a scope, you'll zoom in when you charge it up. So that'll be a nice variant on that weapon, plus who knows what secondaries and specials it might come with. Then down below, we have two more entirely new weapons, being the L3 Nozzle Nose and then the splash o -Matic. Uh The Nozzle Nose looks like a blaster to me, so I have a feeling it might uh, function like that one, where it shoots a single blast that explodes at the end while spraying ink the entire way. Um, and the splash o -Matic, it sounds like a rapid-fire Splattershot type weapon, like maybe like the Splattershot Jr. Um, perhaps even more rapid fire. Now in the top left we have the carbon roller, which I'm guessing functions most like the other rollers in the game, so not too much to say there. And then we have the two final weapons, which are kind of the coolest things here, being the uh, NZAP 85 and the NZAP 89, which of course stands for the Nintendo Zapper, which was a gun that came with the original Nintendo Entertainment System. Now the reason there are two versions here is because there were actually two versions of the original gun, being the gray and the orange ones here. Um, and in fact, the name even reflects the years they came out in, being 85 and 89. Uh, the gray one is the one that came with the system originally, which it didn't change to orange to be more playful and look less gun-like. Uh, so this is awesome, because this means that we'll be getting, that I mean, at the least, we're getting Nintendo-based DLC in the game. Um, it's a neat little throwback, uh, and it ties in perfectly with the game, with the entire game's, like, retro, you know, 90s vibe. And it makes me wonder what else might be coming to the game. Like, could we be getting a Super Scope uh, from the Super Nintendo, which would blend in even better, or which would match you know, the 90s visuals of the game perfectly? Now, as for what these weapons actually are, I don't think they're going to be rapid fire. The, uh, the Zapper wasn't rapid fire at all. Um, so I'm guessing they'll be single shot things, similar to the Blaster. Um, but maybe just a little bit quicker, because it could still fire in pretty rapid succession. Um, but I think it's going to be something a little bit different than the others, which should be cool. And I'm pretty sure the two guns will be identical. I think the only difference is, uh, of course, their visuals and um, what you know, what secondaries and specials they come with, because they were identical in every other way originally. Uh, yeah, so that is really cool, and um, I'm more excited now to see what other DLC might be coming up based on Nintendo stuff potentially. Like if we did get a Super Scope, I have a feeling there'll be a scoped weapon, which uh, would be neat, but there's not too many of them in the game currently. And then of course there's a Mario Sunshine DLC. Tons of people would love to see, being a flood weapon and uh, hopefully Isle Dofino as a stage. So there you have it, that should be a small taste of what's to come, assuming this is real, and I'm inclined to think it is. Uh, it's exciting to see, um, there's a lot more variety coming up here, and I do love the retro throwbacks. So hopefully this is just the tip of the iceberg, and there's much more coming even beyond this. Alright, so that wraps it up for us here, I just want to go over those weapons real quick. But hopefully you all enjoy playing Splatoon in just a few hours, comes out very soon. Um, I should be playing online, so hopefully I'll see, run into some of you guys there. Alright, catch you guys later, bye.